Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So we continue the topic um, for design of ideal reactor for single reaction um, part two. Uh, in this uh, video lecture, I will continue uh, to introduce to you on space time and um, how to find a space time based on. Um, volume of reactor and also the the um, volumetric rate. So basically, space time is defined um, by dividing the volume reactor by uh, dividing the volume reactor with volumetric flow rate, which enters the um, reactor. So it is defined it defined with this formula. So basically um, space time also can be defined as the time taken for a fluid to enter a volume of reactor um, with certain um, rate of volumetric. So that's basically the de definition for um, space time. So next slide. So we are going to have a look um, at different um, definition of space velocity. Um, the abbreviation is SV. So the basic one, SV, space velocity, is volumetric rate uh, divided by volume of reactor which is 1 over tau because just now we know that um, space time or tau is equals to volumetric of reactor um, divided by volumetric rate so the reciprocal of this would be the 1 over tau right the volumetric over divided by volume of reactor so lhsv stands for liquid over liquid hourly space velocity and then so it's defined it is defined as volumetric of liquid um, divided by volume of reactor GHSV as is defined as gas hourly space velocity so it is um, defined by volumetric of gas which is at standard uh, temperature and pressure condition um, divided by volumetric of reactor so I repeat L H S V is liquid hourly space velocity and G H S V is Yes, hourly space okay. So we have a we ha we are going to have a look at um how to derive space time or tau for different types of reactor. So first we look at the space time or the remaining solving time um, for batch reactor okay next line the batch so color you press on previous um, slide the other salah previous slide the other to list dca over dt equals to r a v so V memang tak ada 
that's why ada video lecture saya sebelum ni saya macam stuck kan macam mana <coughs> macam mana uh, daripada DNA kalau you perasan ha, ada slide yang DNA overdating RAB uh, tak pasal-pasal dia buat DCA Ah, tak, tak ni. Slide tu tak pasal-pasal dia buat. <coughs> um, DNA over V. Dia buat by dating. RA dot V kan. Sebenarnya. V kat sini tak ada. There's no V over here. Okay, because this V is already going this side. It's going to be this side. That's why DNA over V over DT. So, <coughs> DNA over V bersamaan dengan DCA. Okay, so guys tu dapat eh. Okay, bila you dah ada uh, mole balance ni, ni so kalau kita nak cari holding time dia which is T T T so ni T bukan tau ok so kita tinggalkan D T so kita rearrange um, D C A over R A so bila kita integrate T so dia akan dapat macam ni lah So, kenapa dia negatif kat sini? Sebab kita terbalikkan yang ni. Yang ini adalah CA0. CA kan? Kemudian kita terbalikkan yang ni CA dengan CA0. Sebab tu ada negatif RA. So, ini cara nak cari holding time ataupun space time for a batch reactor. Okay, kemudian... Uh, we are going to have a look at how to find the space time or holding time for flow reactor. This one is correct. So, for example, CSTR or MFR. So, basically, um, this is the design equation or the mole balance for the CSTR. So, if um, we divide both sides, both sides we divide by volumetric ok so ni pun kita divide by volumetric um, which is shown in this equation so you akan dapat tau kemudian FA0 over um, volumetric is equals to concentration Eh, flow rate divided by volumetric. Flow rate divided by volumetric is equals to concentration because this is the same as um, number of moles divided by um, volume. Tapi yang ini untuk batch. Kalau yang ini untuk flow reactor. So, this is how you are going to find the um, tau for CSTR. So, now let's have a look at how to find the tau for PFR. So, ini adalah mole balance uh, untuk um, PFR. Kalau um, this mole balance, you divide both side with volumetric. Okay, both side uh, divide by volumetric. So you akan dapat ni. Of, of course, this one is tau, d tau, and this one um, volumetric divide by. Uh, flow rate divided by volumetric you will get the concentration so and then um, yang ni dia tunjuk 
kalau you integrate the volume so you akan dapat equation yang ini kan tapi if this equation you divide by volumetry so f a not a you divide by volumetry so still you divide this equation so tau equals to c a not Okay. Um, macam mana dapat dx ni is actually from here kalau you tukarkan dalam bentuk conversion so just to remember that um, fa is also equals to this is uh, based on the conversion punya apa conversion punya theory so basically apa, um, ni sama dengan f e not um, x Uh, you have to do on your own actually so sekejap eh kalau hmm, x equals to uh, f a not minus f a not x macam tu lah lebih kurang kan so kat sini ada um, you boleh uh, this uh, from this equation kalau you integrate kan uh, you akan dapat macam ni so the same thing here sebab so, ca equals to ca not minus ca not x hmm. so bila you integrate nanti you dapat hmm. macam ni okay then um kita tinggalkan uh, space time uh, kita masuk ke sub chapter on to compare the volume of a uh, single way axis the volume or the size um, of single way axis S kita spe specifically is going to have a look at um, the size compar comparison between CSTR and PFR Uh, kenapa? Sebab kalau batch, basically kita takkan kira dia punya um, volume, tapi kita akan kira more on the time second. Tapi kalau untuk flow reactor, kita akan kira dia punya um, size. Um, sebab itu yang akan affect the cost uh, of operation. Tapi kalau macam batch reactor, dia akan affect uh, the, the thing that uh, the parameters that actually call, uh, affect the cost of operation more on the time okay so kalau based on size is we are going to compare between CSTR and PFR so mm, in previous lecture and if you have gone through all those videos that I have given to you So, if let's say, kalau you guys are the data, um, data F A naught over negative R A, katalah kan, yes, you have that kind of data, and you have uh, data of X, so katalah, ni semua data, etc, 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 x not x1 x2 x3 for example x4 so ni katalah f a not r a not apa r a1 r a2 yang 
40,000 tu kan so if you have all this data so basically kalau untuk CSTR both for CSTR and PFR basically you boleh you boleh plot this is x this is FA0 um, and this is RA your data Okay, katalah you dapat this plot. Okay, kalau um, kalau you nak kira untuk CSTR, for example, um, you are, you nak kira conversion at eighty percent, for example. Here, uh, at eighty percent of conversion, so you are gonna uh, uh, extrapolate the line until this plot uh, curve. Nih, tapi untuk CSTR, you akan jadikan dia square begini. Then the volume is begini. Hello, red ni. Yang warna purple ni eh. Sebab uh, ini bermaksud CSTR Okay, CSTR volume dia bersamaan dengan FA0 over negative RA darab Tapi kalau untuk PFR, katalah uh, sama juga, you plot uh, FA0 uh, on the same graph actually. Uh, you have this the same, katalah the same data. Um, tapi katalah digunakan on uh, data, I mean the same reaction is on uh, the is is uh, you know reacted in pfr so you not care um, how much um, volume pfr is required at 80 percent conversion so um, the line from 80 percent conversion ni, Bila sampai dekat uh, the plotting curve, tapi cara kira volume dia adalah the area under the curve. Okay, ni saya lorikkan warna biru. Ni. So, bermaksud PFR um, with the same chemical reaction, with the same data, dia memerlukan volume yang lebih rendah compared to CSTR. So, what do you think which one is better kalau in terms of volume? Okay, ramai yang bicarakan jawab CSTR sebab dia nampak bigger volume is better but actually the smaller volume is better because of cost of reaction a uh, cost of operation sebab at smaller volume you boleh dapat conversion yang sama katalah si STR tadi volume dia lebih besar 
tapi dia dapat 80% conversion tapi kalau untuk PFR it just takes small smaller volume but still the conversion of that reaction is still 80% so PFR is so much cheaper than um, CSCR so, saya harap uh, you guys tahu macam mana nak kira um, these two types of volume for both CSTR and PFR, PFR tapi untuk PFR ni lebih um, tricky sikit sebab dia kena gunakan numerical method ok, I hope that you go through the video that I have sent to you on how to calculate volume for PFR ok now kita masuk um Still, we are comparing the size of reactors, but if the reactors we have in series, um, but that reactors that in series has different types. So, contoh yang ini, uh, kita ada CSTR dulu. First, first CSTR. First reactor is CSTR. Second reactor is PFR, and then the third reactor is um, CSTR again. So, cara nak kira um, volume dia, you kena um, kira um, the volume based on the type. For example, the first sorry, the first reactor is CSTR. So, so ni lah uh, apa tu? The first reactor is CSTR. Sekejap eh. Okay. So, untuk dapatkan volume first reactor, ini adalah formula dia. Um, based on, ini kalau in terms of conversion lah. Tapi, apa? Uh, ada apa kalau guna teori yang lain design equation dia which is FA FA1 FA1 so ni kalau first volume ok kemudian uh, untuk PFR the second reactor you have to use the formula for PFR lah. So, kalau untuk third reactor, which is dekat sini dia tulis uh, CSTR. So, you guna guna CSTR punya uh, design equation. Which, uh, kat sini dia, dal dia buat dalam bentuk apa tu? Uh, uh, conversion. So, X3 minus X2 is actually the conversion that happened in reactor 3. Because if you still remember, last time I cakap kalau X, um, apa, that, that, yang X3 ni, dia bukan menunjukkan uh, conversion for third reactor, tapi dia menunjukkan conversion for total um, arrangement. So, kalau you specifically nak cari apa tu equation uh, 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 conversion untuk um, third reactor, so you kena tolakkan dengan uh, X2, which is X2 adalah uh, total conversion for X for for these two reactors, first reactor and second reactor. Okay, jadi um, which is B2 
sama juga dengan FA2 minus FA1 divided by RA Macam mana boleh dapat dalam bentuk um, X2, X2 kan? Sebab uh, FP FP1 equals to F Right, then F A two So we need be true, yeah. B three F A two minus F A one. Okay. Uh, B3 is actually equals to um, F8 F8 not F1 minus F8 3 Sorry, F A two minus F A three. Okay, so kat sini F A two equals to F A not minus F A F A not X two. So F A three is equals to F A not minus F A not X three. So, you akan masukkan nilai FA1, FA2, FA3 ni dekat sini lah. So, you akan dapat this equation. Okay. Uh, so, we have <coughs> these two exercise. Um, Nanti saya cuba usahakan untuk dapatkan jawapan and saya akan bagi kemudian untuk dua exercise ni. Alright. So with that, um, Ari, thank you. Maafkan segala kekurangan saya, especially stylus pen saya ni macam tak berapa nak elok sangat kalau tulis-tulis. Okay. So, scan, thank you.